Hello full gamers and welcome here to the game called Nazgath which is currently in early access phase on Steam or open beta or whatever you want to call it and this weekend you can actually all play it if you uh, look at the gameplay and say I want to play too then check out on Steam you can play the whole weekend for free and then you can get if you want to play longer think you can buy the cheaps uh, uh, some packs there are all on a uh, huge discount and stuff like that I mean there are also some expensive packs like the founders pack uh, pack where it's basically I think it's this game is also was on Kickstarter or something or is currently on Kickstarter where you can uh, <coughs> help uh, get the game going and give them <laughs> your money if you want to but um, I just I, I saw that this on Steam and I have to say after like one or two rounds in the beginning I thought, oh my god, this is uh, pretty weird and some unbalanced shit, but in the end, uh, after a couple more rounds, I played for like 3 hours straight and <laughs> had a lot of fun with this game, at least in the early levels, and it's basically, it has something for a bit from Left 4 Dead and some other uh, shooters and stuff like that, it's basically 4-on-4, four four. it's where in this team deathmatch, where it's basically all the time like 4 vampires against 4 humans, and... Uh, in the beginning you only have like two classes on each side unlocked. We're playing here as the Reaver, which is like <laughs> comparable to if you have played the left for that to the Hunter class, where you also can jump, as you see here, the launch attack and then do half of uh, the enemy's health damage to him until he uh, pushes you away and then you have to go in for a melee kill. And also this class has like the ability to uh, get free of the chain effect, what uh, some of the enemy hunters can do to you, and here you see me uh, sucking his blood out to regen my health and stuff like that, so it's a really a bit of a tactical team, it looks a bit chaotic here and there, but I tell you, you should all try it out and it's pretty much fun, um, and also the optimization, it runs great here on my new PC actually, as you see on the top uh, left corner, it runs most of the time at 120 uh, FPS on my screen, but only in the beginning, like sometimes when the game starts, it gets a bit choppy and uh, it goes down to 40 frames sometimes. But uh, maybe this was also because I started the recording and stuff like that. But I hope you guys enjoy this gameplay, this first look. And I have definitely some more gameplay of this uh, on my hard drive. Maybe if you want to see the other side, then basically it's in the beginning. Uh, it's 4v4 team deathmatch, as I said before. Uh, one team plays the uh, human side, the other vampires. And after that, who wins that? Uh, there is always a second round where they switch teams so everyone has uh, to play the humans and the vampires in one in game basically which is a really al awesome I think. Um, in the beginning I thought the um, humans are a bit overpowered because they have like um, all ranged weapons like uh, crossbows and bows and stuff like that and some grenade uh, crafty <laughs> launchers or whatever but um, and then, but then I right now I really prefer more the um, vampire side as you see me launch here again. And the, the guy uh, next to me, or the two guys next to me, are playing the tyrant class, which is probably looks uh, a bit or is <laughs> inspired by the nemesis from Resident Evil. If you have played at the series, um, looks like that. And he hit his uh, the tyrant has a uh, charge attack, uh, which can push all the enemies out of the way for basically charges for like 4 seconds or something and everything he hits gets uh, a lot of damage to him stuff like that but in the top uh, middle of the screen you can see the score basically now it's like 2, 12 to 3 so we own the humans pretty much <laughs> in this whole gameplay and I in the end think I get a really awesome score like 12 and kills and 2 deaths or something like that or 10 kills or something but here you see trying to go in just there and also, uh, the Reaver has a third ability after that launch attack, um, that that huge sprint attack, where you can get out out of uh, some stun effects and stuff like that. We also got the smoke bomb, which basically covers the enemy's smoke, and everyone that gets hit by the smoke, <laughs> you get owned. Oh my god! Uh, shows up for all of your teammates on the map for a short amount of time or through through walls and stuff like that. So it's can be so, uh, somewhat tactical and at this point here I was just using haven't bought anything in the shop because in general when the game comes out or is out of op open beta will be a free to play game from what I've uh, gotten and you basically earn gold and stuff like that 
uh, through uh, winning games and getting kills and stuff like that and leveling up but then you can also pl uh, buy some artifact stones or uh, I forgot the name about but you can basically buy them like it's the currency like in all other <laughs> free to play games and here you see the launch is also great for like getting around and only the vampires uh, can climb on buildings and stuff and here they see, saw a flashbang from the enemy hunters so it has a nice balance to it but what I want to say, so basically there is a in-game currency you can buy and so there's a premium currency and stuff like that where you can buy like in League of Legends and stuff like that some customizable uh, appearances and gear and stuff like that and also some other weapons and stuff like that but they're not too expensive also to buy with gold but the difference is when you buy them with premium currency you get them for everything and when you buy them with gold you get them for like 7 days which is kind of a long time I think um, and there, most of the stuff is not that expensive in the game you see me using the sprint ability that gets you also out of like stun effects and stuff like that what I said before and on the ground you see here the fire wall which was also done by the hunters uh, I think the alchemist class and here we get another nice launching attack here but I think here's my second death of the video <laughs> get completely destroyed but here you see like 10 kills and 2 deaths and 6 assists also get a bunch of assists in this gameplay here and also you can customize your character from appearance and stuff like that and buy some stuff in the shop as I said before and also everyone can choose one perk I think and also alter their uh, 3 abilities they have uh, but you have to unlock I think you have to level up first to unlock some of the abilities you can't just buy them in, in game with uh, currency and stuff like that but the awesome, the awesome part is there is also some perks in this game where you get a daily perk which is I think two daily perks which are like for free you can use the whole day and then you can also buy some perks in the shop um, again same as with weapons where you get them when you buy them with gold for like seven days maybe they will change it up <laughs> to a short amount of time when the game comes out but I think seven days is kinda long of time if you really play that game a lot um, but maybe they will uh, <laughs> use some different um, buying mechanics or when the game is out of open beta or out of the early access stuff like that but uh, I have to say I mean I looked at some perks and there were some really uh, definitely some variety in the games I mean I have only played the two classes on each side that are unlocked from the beginning and the Reaver is probably the class I played the most and also on the other side on the human side uh, in the beginning there's the Hunter Unlocked and the Alchemist, which I think I played only the Hunter, yet not the Alchemist, not so much, or maybe for one uh, very short amount of time, and here <laughs> nearly uh, the gameplay is coming to an end here, as we suck this blood out, out of this guy or tried at least, um, because it's al al always awesome to get a full heal back, and also the Vampires or the Tyrant class, or not the Tyrant class, the Reaver class I play here has also a delayed like heal that doesn't heal you full but I uh, can get the job done and get you get half of your health back or something like that and hope uh, the quality is okay I mean I don't think YouTube uh, <laughs> 60 frames uh, per second videos up, uh, upload uh, works yet but they should be in the future so uh, you have to probably watch this gameplay in 30 frames per second but I hope it doesn't look too shabby when it's uploaded to YouTube here you see we get completely cornered this guy and I think I get the last kill of the game so uh, I prambled a lot in this video around so maybe we can upload also the second half uh, if some of you guys wanna enjoy that or wanna see that of this gameplay so thanks for watching guys leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed that content and uh, see you on the battlefield